Hi everybody! In the previous section we learned about the pressure sensor and we also learned about the parameters opacity, size and flow. As you can see we have a lot more sensors and parameters. In this exercise I will give a brief overview of the remaining sensors. And we will talk about the remaining parameters under the heading general. So let's get started with sensors. If I activate speed like this, I link the sensor to the size of the brush. So when I draw slowly, the stroke becomes thin. And when I draw quickly, the stroke becomes thick. Or another example is time. When I activate time, I can set the duration here. As you can see, the stroke path gets thicker and thicker as time passes until it reaches the duration. I can also set whether the effect should repeat here. Pressure in stands for pressure increase. It only registers when there is a pressure increase. Then we have these four sensors, that's X tilt, Y tilt, tilt direction and tilt elevation. This all depends on the angle of the stylus. Usually you're holding the stylus vertically. If you hold it at an angle, it detects a certain tilt. Unfortunately, my graphics tablet does not support this. A lot of graphics tablets don't support this, so I just ignore this. I never use it. Drawing angle is the direction in which the stroke is currently being drawn. Rotation is the angle of the stylus rotation about its axis. Distance allows you to affect the brush over a distance. Fuzzy dab basically means the input is random. The random input is applied to each dab. Fuzzy stroke also means random, but the, the random input is not applied to each individual dab, but it's applied to each individual stroke. Then we have fade. Fade is a combination of distance and time. Perspective works in conjunction with the perspective assistant. It uses this perspective assistant to determine how far or near the stroke is. Tangential pressure uses the pressure perpendicular to the axis of the stylus. And that was all for the sensors. Depending on how advanced your tablet is, you will have access to many or few of these sensors. But don't worry, you can really easily make do without too many sensors. It's more of a luxury to have access to many sensors. Next, let's talk about parameters. In addition to opacity, flow and size, we have a lot of parameters which we can link to the sensors. For example, ratio changes the width and the height of the tip depending on the sensor linked. Spacing varies the space between the dabs. Mirror mirrors the brush tip. Softness softens the brush depending on the input sensor. Sharpness sharpens the brush depending on the input sensor. We can vary the rotation of the brush tip using the rotation parameter. Scatter randomizes the location of each dab. The strength of the randomness depends on the input of the sensor. 
So that was a very quick summary of the parameters and the sensors. You can find an overview on the Krita website too. Just go to www.krita.org, click on learn, click on brushes, brush settings, and then parameters, give an overview of the various parameters, and sensors, gives an overview of the various sensors. So we've learned a lot of theory today. It might all seem a little bit dry and abstract. Don't worry. In the next couple of lessons, we will be covering a couple of examples to help us put this theory into practice. See you soon. Bye bye.